started the, for the second half with two turnovers right off the bat. Um, what was the difference for you in the first half and the second half? In the first half, it wasn't any better. We just you know, got lucky. Went on a little run at the end of the second quarter. But just attention to detail. Um, I thought our physicality um, wasn't there. And they, you know, they played better than we get, they did. I mean, we did. Our coaches, our players, and everything. So um, they played better than we did tonight. But I thought just the physicality and attention to detail, um, they were better. And they, they were able to get to the line. Um, you kept Ant off the line in the first half. But then as he shot six in the third quarter. Um, what was the difference between him? He came out just being aggressive. They got in the bonus early, and then um, he was able to attack and get to the free throw line, um, along with Big Cat. You know, Cat. They got in the bonus. And he started attacking, um, trying to get to the basket, and got to the free throw line a lot as well. Uh, how much did this size of defense affect what you guys were trying to do? And how much was that? Say it again. How much did this size of defense affect you guys on offense? And how much was that you guys just missing shots? Um, it definitely affected us. You know, if we're not making quick decisions, um, you know playing the game the right way, they're gonna they're gonna, you know, make you look bad offensively. And that's what they did, you know, for the whole game. You know, I thought their length balled us, I thought us holding the ball being stagnant really hurt us. And if we're not gonna get it side to side and make quick decisions, you know, they're the number one defensive team in the league for a reason. You know, and so you gotta make quick decisions, be smart about it, and you definitely can't turn the ball over like we did to start the third quarter. Yeah, coach, uh, like how many teams out there can can challenge you guys when it comes to the way that with their two bigs, they're able to protect the rim. And then, you know, you have Ant on the other side attacking the rim. And, of course, Cat scoring as well. How many teams in the league do you think can, you know, match what they, they're doing right now? Um, to play that style, you know, um, Cleveland, you know, they do, they do the same thing as far as two bigs. Um, like I said, and it's, it's a problem. If you're not moving the ball, if you're not attacking the right way, um, they put you in a tough situation offensively. And so we didn't handle it well tonight. To, uh what were some of the things that y'all did to maybe discourage him from being as aggressive in the, in the first half? And, you know, besides his calorie, what can you do to in The first half, continue? I thought we did a good job just blitzing him, you know, taking it out of his hands, you know, early. And then the second half, um, they adjusted and played more one-on-one. -on -one. They kept him out of pick and roll. He attacked his one-on-one -on -one point of attack, and we wasn't able to slow him down. I just did kind of talk about the, the, the Cleveland game, this game, I know it, in both these games he's been so you guys have had good spurts, uh, maybe not so much this one, but what have you found to be successful against uh, the size you guys have gotten against Cleveland and Minnesota specifically? Um, going small. I mean, today they hurt you on the rebound. Right? Yeah, today they did, yeah. So the last time you guys played in Minnesota, you found small to be the... I mean, he has better for us, you know, um, at times, just trying to space Rudy out, get him out of paint. You know, he's been defensive player of the year a hundred times for a reason, you know, and so um, he's a problem down low. So just trying to draw him away from the basket, try to put him in rotations like we did, you know, late in that second half. So um, that's, probably, that's probably the key. Ty, what did you see from the center rotation tonight? Obviously, I know you haven't always gone to all three of them, but today you did go all three and also tried small ball. Just what did you see from those three? Um, I mean, it was like Zoo, like said, on the man restriction and then you know, Mason DT didn't really get a fair chance, so um, not really a huge assessment for tonight. But you know, just I'm trying to eat up those minutes. You know, with Zub being on a minute restriction, and just you know, trying to find you know which big plays well. So they really didn't get a fair chance tonight. Last one. You mentioned before about offensively they weren't moving the ball side to side, getting Minnesota in rotation. Can you can you look at a game like tonight as hopefully maybe a wake up call to the guys about doing those sorts of things? Yeah, I hope so. You know, we've been talking about it. And, um, you know, we just, got, we just got to do it more often, you know, more consistent. You know, I think we have some good one-on-one -on -one players, but at the end of the day, like, we just got to be more consistent, you know, um, getting to the second and third actions like we have done, you know. So tonight was just a tough game for us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's get ready for Hoop Jab.